In today's video, we are going to discuss how APID controller works. Before this, you must know about what is PID controller. PID controller controls any process automatically. PID controller is like this, but PID controller can also be used by integrating it in SCADA. Because, by using all PID controllers separately, the system becomes very complicated. And fault detection also becomes difficult. That's why, different PID controllers are integrated and used in SCADA. And then can control any machinery, mill, or plant. PID controllers are used in power plants, sugar industry chemical industry, paper industry, and in other industries. PID controller means proportional integral. Derivative controller. In PID controller, you can see set point or set value. SP or SV is written on it. This is the value on which pressure, temperature, level are kept. Value PV means process variable or process value. This is the present value of pressure, temperature or whatever has to be controlled. Process variable is obtained from sensors and sensors are connected according to the connection diagram in the PID controller. Sensors means instruments that transmit values by measuring them, for examples, to measure the temperature. RTD, thermocouple are used to measure the pressure. Pressure transmitters are used to measure the level. Differential pressure transmitters, level transmitters are used to measure the flow, flow transmitters, flow meters are used see how easy it is whoever has to control will use the same sensor but you can show these values on the indicators as well here the wonder of pid controller is that it keeps the process variable around the set point but indicators cannot do this work now let's understand the real work of PID controller. Here you also need to understand a term. Error. Because the whole concept is going on with the error signal only. The difference between set point and process variable is error. In this image, set point is this, process variable is this, and error is the difference and is. PID controller is used to minimize or zero this error. But how does the PID controller reduce this error? Have you ever thought about it? Well, let's tell. To reduce the error, an output signal is sent from the PID controller. This is called control variable or CV. Now, because this output is normally sent to the control valve only. That's why some people also call it the position of the control valve. Control variable signal is sent to control valve or variable frequency drive which means VFD. So you don't have to be confused at all. CV is the output signal of the PID controller, which is sent to minimize the error. The PID controller keeps on calculating the error between the set point and the process variable due to which the error signal is generated and the process keeps working in auto mode. Now you must have come to know what is the need of set point and process variable. PID controller has one more facility, it has two modes. 
One is auto mode, one is manual mode. By doing this in manual mode, you can send the output signal of your choice, but keep it in auto mode only because manual mode is used to give force signal. We will understand the meaning of all these terms and why these names have been given to them. Let's discuss. First of all, we will see P for proportional term. So, friends, the proportional term is proportional to the change in the present error. Let us understand further. The set point is fixed, but the process value or process variable keeps on changing. So, the difference means error between them also keep on changing. Proportional term of PID controller is proportional to the present value of this error. Now, because this term is proportional to the error, so it is called a proportional term. So, friends, this is the reason why it is named proportional. P term is clear. Let's see I for integral. Before that, you need to know that what was missing in P so that I term had to be introduced. When we use only P term in PID controller, an offset is there. To understand this offset, you can see this graph. Like, see this. Offset means the process variable deviates from the set point. Deviate means to be different. So, offset is the error. One thing is very clear from here. That, when we use only P term in PID controller, then an error remains and the process variable does not reach the set point. Offset is also called steady state error. To bring this error to the set point, I term is used. This integral term examines the process variable and the offset over the time. And by correcting the output, the value of the process variable is brought to the set point. You can also see this from this graph. So, the integral term, in a way, depends on the accumulation of past errors. Now because, in mathematics, integration is used for over the time calculation. Therefore, this term is called integral or integration term. Using the integral term, the steady state error becomes zero. So, I term is also clear. Now let's understand. D for derivative term, derivative term or derivative action. Monitors the rate at which the process variable is changing. At what rate it is changing? It means how fast the change is happening, or how slowly the change is happening. Let me explain this further. As we have studied in mathematics, that is, dx over dt is the rate of change of x with respect to time. Means, with respect to time, at which rate x is changing which is derivative or differentiation. Here, it is the rate of change of error with respect to time. That's why it is called derivative term or derivative action. Let's make it more clear. To calculate the future behavior of the error signal, the PID controller computes the rate of change of error and accordingly updates the output. I hope you must have got clear D term from here. So this conclusion came out from here that proportional term depends on the present error. Integral term depends on past errors and derivative term 
predicts future behavior of error. I think it is clear to you. If you still have the doubts, you can ask in comments. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do like and share. Also, press the bell icon for more updates and uploads.